Hey y'all, it's Betsy with Happily Ever After, etc. And welcome back to another Pandora video. So today I am very, 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 very excited because I picked up two of the new Cinderella Muranos uh, from the newest Pandora release. There's a whole Cinderella line. There's the new Valentine's Day line. There's the new Year of the Dragon Charms and your girl's wallet can only stretch so far, especially because I just hit the after Christmas sale. So if you want to check out the after Christmas sale, I'll link that video down below. But of the new releases, I decided to skip Valentine's Day altogether. As much as I love Valentine's Day presents, I figured Cinderella Marana's can be for Valentine's Day. They don't have to be hearts. So I've got two of these Muranos we're going to take a close look at. My Disney bracelet is a work in progress. I only have two specific charms for my Disney bracelet, but I have several other charms um, that are Disney related, uh, like my Tinkerbell charms. I have a few like little baby Marie from the Aristocats um, that I actually wear on an open mingle by themselves, more of statement pieces. Um, and probably that's because I don't have a specific Disney bracelet. So this is the free bangle. Um, and I've put any Disney related charms that I can find on here. And we're going to play around with the Muranos to see how they look with these charms. I did go back to the store. Don't tell my mom. Um, and pick, picked up the two uh, Cinderella and Beauty and the Beast button charms that were on the $15 table. Because I was like, oh my God. The Cinderella one has a carriage on it, the same carriage as the Muranos. I think even if I just did a mini design with those three charms, it would be beautiful. And eventually we're planning to go back to Disney sometime in the next year or two. I'd really like to get the bracelet with the carriage clasp and the carriage clasp with the carriage button charm and the carriage Muranos. Let's look at the Muranos. Let's put them on my little uh, Disney workup that I've done and see how they look. And then I do want to see them with just that button charm. Sometimes simpler is better. Um, and I can put the rest of my charms back as in being individual, but I don't know. I'm kind of liking it. I'm kind of liking it. We're, we'll try it both ways and we'll see which one we end up wearing. Um, and then y'all can let me know down below what you're doing with yours because I cannot be the only one who picks these up in the new collection. So let's jump right into these boxes. The only other thing I picked up from all of the releases was the gold dragon from the year of the dragon release. You might know that I'm going to Singapore later this year and I thought he would look stunning with the other gold pieces, gold and red pieces. Um, that I have already picked up and I'm planning to pick up from my Asia bracelet. So I will link that video down below. It will be coming out later this week if you want to check out that little gold dragon. Today is all about Cinderella. Uh, okay, less, less talking, more opening. All right, so for some reason they sent each Murano in its own box. And I did order mine from Reed's instead of Pandora because they had one of the after Christmas charms I wanted that was sold out on the Pandora website. You guys, these are stunning. Oh, I don't know why they put them in their own boxes, but I am not complaining and they, they look good together. Sometimes Muranos do not match perfectly for the glass and these look like a good match. Okay. All right, let's take them out. Let's take a look. I'm so excited. Come here, little charms. Well, I guess not little charms. Muranos are one of the bigger charms you can get. Oh, you guys, there. I, I literally regret nothing about my decisions. This was the best thing I ever did. I think this every time. That filigree work on the side. You've got your hallmarks there. Pandora. Come on. Disney. OK, 
keeps wanting to focus on that front one. S925ALE, and I love that these are so sparkly. They look almost frozen inside, and they are not smooth, smooth, smooth glass. They have like this bubble effect, which to me kind of looks like the ridges on a pumpkin, maybe a carriage. I love them. I love them. All right. Let's give you a close-up look at one side. Look at that. I was going to say it seems to have some kind of fuzz on it. I thought I was imagining it, but I'm not. There we go. That was odd, but fixable. Wonder what that's from. I don't know. All right, so we're not gonna do a full, full look, but here are all of the Disney charms that I've oop, put together for this bracelet. We'll see if you guys can figure out which ones are supposed to be on here. But I have the two uh, button charms, Beauty and the Beast and Cinderella. I just went back to the store, like I said, and got these. They were on the $15 tray. I got Miss Susie from Cinderella on the $15 tray right after Christmas. Marie is Disney from the Aristocrats. I love her. Um, and she... I typically wear on my three strand pink bracelet by herself, but she can go here. <sighs> Mickey and Minnie, they're Disney, but I typically wear this charm with Happily Ever After, my blog name, uh, on a open bangle by itself. But he could go on a Disney bracelet. Then I have my two Tinkerbell charms captain hook's flying ship i do think i want to do a whole tinkerbell bracelet eventually but so far most of my tinkerbell charms are actually on my like enchanted fairy garden bracelet except for these two and so tinkerbell is disney here's the other charm that i actually have for this disney bracelet that i have a whole design worked up for in my brain and on my computer and it is the mini charm with the pink CZs. Then I have a non-Disney charm, but Ghost from Game of Thrones went opposite Marie perfectly. And he is a standalone. I have nowhere for him to live right now. So just go with it. He's a character. Beauty and the Beast. Enchantment awaits. And I capped it off with my other Tinkerbell charm. She's on her little thimble. I love this one. I usually wear it on an open bangle by itself, but now that I have Captain Hook's ship, I wasn't sure what to do with both of them. So right now, this is everything that I have uh, for a Disney bracelet. And we're gonna put the two Muranos on the ends and see how they look. This is a lot more charms than I would normally wear on an open or on a closed bangle. Once it starts hitting the sides of my wrist here, um, I don't love it. So I could take some of the charms off. Once I get that Cinderella carriage snake chain, it will be less of an issue. But for now, give me a second. I'm gonna take everything off and we'll probably take a look at the mini design I'm gonna do first. All right, so I do want to point out that these charms are, there we go, threaded. So they will thread over the end of your bracelet and over any clip stations that you might have on your bracelet. Oh, I had a feeling this would be amazing, and it is. So with just the button charm and the Muranos, they really go together. I really like that. It's like simple, but classy. 
I like all of those things. And if I wanted to, I could wear it like this, or if I wanted to put it on an open bangle, it would stack a little nicer. And I could wear him, need some clips, with this uh, three link bangle, which I have my ooh, Cinderella carrot with the blue on. There we go, Murano's and the blue clips. And I mean, let's see if we can't get them to stack nicely. But what about that theme, huh? Come on, play nice. There we go. Honestly, that might be the winner, at least for a while. I like that it has the blue and this is all like Cinderella themed. And I don't know, I mean, this is a three link bangle. And so the, the regular bangle might work well, but he's not going to stay in place without clips. So. I don't know. That's pretty. That's very, 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 very pretty. That might be the winner, but let's go ahead and put them on with all the other charms since I went to all the work of finding them. So I'm going to go ahead and undo this one. Oh, my puppies heard me and now they're upset. Okay. I do love this. I love that it brings the blue in from this charm to other places because this is a majorly a pink or silver design. I like how it looks. Now, if I had a snake chain and once I have the one I want, I think this is going to work perfectly. Even if I do eventually switch some of the charms out to other bracelets and get different charms for this. I could wear this right now and be perfectly happy with it. I think, I think since this is a regular bangle and if I put it on my wrist right now, well, I don't know. It's not as bad as I thought it would be. It's not closed, but it's just not as comfortable as I would like. I think what I'm going to do All right, give me a second. I think I think I know what I'm gonna do. Look at that. So I'm liking this. I went ahead and I moved these three off the bottom bracelet and then I just tossed this heart with the CZs in the bottom design. And that way it doesn't fit, uh, hit my wrist as hard, but you can see that this bangle, it's just still, I'm not, I don't love wearing bangles with that many charms on it. So once I get a snake chain, that's definitely how I will wear this with these on this bottom design. But for now, I will probably wear it like this most days because this is easy and comfortable and it feels good. And I like all the blues. And then once I get a snake chain and more Disney designs, charms will, will work on the whole Disney bracelet. But I love how these Muranos look. The sides are beautiful. They look great with the Muranos and the blue of my other bracelet. They look great with that carriage charm. Let me know how you would have worn these with my charms. And let me know how you're wearing them on your bracelets. But y'all... I think for me, this is a winner. All right, I will see you in the next video. Bye.